Hello and welcome to Supreme Commander Forge Alliance Forever. This is the third game between Nexus and Ajux. In their best of 15, people are asking why why there's a best of 15. Well, it's just a, a series hosted by Moonbert. And Ajux come first air. Let's see. Two engineers planned. Three P gens. It's not going first bomber. But I'm sure there's gonna be a bomber coming out of that probably right after those two engineers. The engineers might they will get some tree reclaim, which will help pay for the energy costs of the bomber. And they probably head to the hydro, maybe. Oh, they have attack moves. From the factory, if you don't know, it gives it a larger range to reclaim it so it'll stand right there and reclaim everything in about this range which is oh both engineers sent to the same spots that's already a mistake to be honest from Ajax I think you want to kind of send them in different places so that you get a radius here and then you get a radius like these trees or these trees but this should be okay anyway and now after the P gens and the NGs, he then assists the air factory, and that's quite a nice build. If you guys want to steal it, now you're going to have to have some nice bomber micro. So we're going to see a uh, scout now. I think maybe he could get an engineer before the scout, because then the scout is going to be there quite early. He should probably, st I think Ajax will stall the uh, scout here until the bomber catches up so that Nexus has the minimum amount of time to react to this early air. Not gonna have, and you can see Ajax sends it this way so there's not gonna be a scout. If he had sent it straight towards the base, it would be spotted very quickly. So now the bomber's getting close. Ajax uses the nice vision here and stays far away. Now he didn't find any grouped NGs here, unfortunately. But he's still going to get some damage done now that land factory going up. And while he's microing this bomber, he's also going to have to micro his base. And you can see... Oh. Ooh. It's tricky to micro these bombers. They turn so fast. You can see these engineers. Got a lot of reclaim. He's up to 3k power reclaim. Only one kill so far. Nexus has been dodging. And anti-air is out. So... Ajax has to look for new targets. And he also needs uh, maybe to stop reclaiming, start building stuff with these guys, because he has so many resources. Hydro is on the way, and let's see what Nexus sees. Ooh, he's invested into three anti airs, and they're all moving away from the base. Also, both the landscapes going to the same direction might be a bit of a mistake. And yeah, look, you can see him. Micring them, and he's not ready for the bomber to come back there. Very nice from Ajax. Maybe a T1 radar could have gone up in the base. Maybe that would have been, uh, just as I say it, he's building it. So the anti-air comes back. These two will keep going towards the beach because the bomber could again circle around. And Nexus trying to get a scout into Ajax's back base. Another drop, but now... He's right over Sky Slammer. And Sky Slammers are quite nice because of those missiles. Oh, it escapes again. The Ajax uh, is in range of the radar. Five kills on this bomber. And he's going to run into an ad here. And this should be the end of him. Not bad damage at all there, I have to say. But Nexus is already taking Reclaim in mid, he has 2,000 power. And... Or 2,000 mass Reclaim to Ajax 600. Bottom side, I think, has an advantage in terms of where the mass is located. Slightly. As well as distance to the Hydra. And I feel like Nexus... Was Nexus on the bottom last time? Maybe not. Either way. We have a transport and the air factory 
Only now there's the first, I don't know, second air unit out for Nexus. Two Inties heading towards the base, it seems. Gadgets is going to get out of here in time, though. And in terms of expansion, we have an engineer at the beach, engineer towards the back. And we have an engineer towards the rock, and look at that. Scout spots the transport, and the Inties have locked on. Ajax will have seen that scout and might be might be wary for his transport. Yeah, he's trying to reclaim the the scout, but it runs away. Now in middle, Ajax builds a factory there. Let's see. Let's see he had a full mass bar. And right now he's not reclaiming, and that's a bit of a bit of a mistake. You need to be reclaiming constantly. If you're not reclaiming and you're not shooting, then you're you're wasting your own time in middle. A lot of power being built, you can see. And a drop to the airbase. And we're going to come back and redrop. But where are we going to drop to? So no proxy again in this, this game. But the first bomber, did it do enough damage? I think it probably did. I No, it definitely did, really. Forcing three early anti-airs, killing five five engineers. I think that was pretty pretty good damage. And uh, even though Nexus Nexus did decently against it, good reaction, but still took damage because of Ajax's nice micro. So the rock is getting dropped now. Hydro going up, expansion looking better for Ajax, I have to say. Units wise, it does actually look a bit better for Nexus. I have to say, look, you can see a lot of factories here now already. There's 13 almost, a couple under construction. And we have 20 tanks in mid, Ajax has a couple less. And Nexus with some pretty pretty decent micro, you can see always trying to keep his units out of range. So you want your ACU fighting units, and you want your units basically hiding from the opponent ACU. With every kill you give to the ACU is not only one less tank for you, less damage, but it's also potentially a vet level for them, or it is going to be a vet level down the line. No... Mass extractor is upgraded at all. Guess there's just not much power for that. Let's see here, Nexus. Using a bit of HP. They both lost about 1k, and we need a, a radar front. Here is one, but it might be about to die. Overall, though, Ajax, look at that. Far more power, far more mass. That is an impressive lead he has right now. 33 T1 Mexus. He does have a T2 Mex. He's dropping his island now. Nexus, 23 T1 Mexus. No T2. And that is a very big lead for Ajax. In all senses of economy, power. And power and mass. Maybe not factories though. In middle. Let's see Nexus base. Probably has a few more. And he's loading up his transport now. Next is with 14 kills, 600 vet points, only 480 for Ajax, he's slightly behind here. Trying to get up a PD, don't know if that's going to be successful. Nexus may come in and snipe this engineer. Nexus, yeah, nice micro from Nexus, you can see him just firing tanks here while Ajax is... Well, he's getting some reclaim, probably needs... He can do with that, but uh... Yeah, definitely liking that. Nexus Micro. And uh, Ajax might have to run into the water here. His forces are split. And the problem when you have forces split is that your opponent can turn in either direction towards those units. And then fight a smaller army than you should have. And Ajax is forced into the water. Now separated from his units. And he's not coming out of the water either. I feel like he should uh, come out of the water here. 
or stand on the edge of the water, try to get some shots off. Does he have overcharge? That would be very important. He does have overcharge. Ooh, next is getting a bit close, and Ajax sees that, sends some units after him, but uh, the mans are in support. And there's not that many tanks here. We have well, we have like 50, but there's surely, surely that many for Nexus here, plus the ACU. And Ajax is going to be difficult to get out of the water now. How is he going to get back on site when his units are all the way back here and Nexus has has the ground on him? Oh, that's a lot of damage going on to so many mantis shooting him at once here. He's going to lose health rapidly. He has 999 vet points. Needs to get that vet level. He's also taking shots there just as he's leaving from Medusa. And there's a nice drop. Mantis dropped onto the rock position. And there's enough Mantis here to kill this factory as well. And potentially kill a lot of mexes. So we should see maybe a factory go up here. And hope that these engineers aren't found so that... This can be retaken a bit easier. Maybe a bomber should be sent to try clean these guys up. And now let's look at the mass income. Well, power-wise, Ajax still so far ahead. Nearly double. And Ajax making T2 on his commander in the water here. You can see he's moved very far away. Because uh, it's quite shallow here. If you don't move, even if you're like here, you can get ground fired by Arty. It's very annoying. One of the most annoying things on set in minute, actually is uh, sometimes you think you're safe and then you get ground fired by two arties. that's a transport doing a bit of scouting for nexus let's see nexus map now he should have everything here he does add some radars could probably do a, a bit more radar he has 3000 mass in the bank but simply does not have power to spend it t2 air is done for him while ajax has moved to t2 land these mantis are gold, pure gold. Very nice drop there from him. You can see the power of just a single drop of a few units. Out of a hundred units, he dropped six here and caused all kinds of problems. On the front, really lacking power. There's not going to be any commander upgrade until his T2P gen is up and it's only just started and he's minus 400, 300 power. So definitely especially by Nexus standards, 11.30 is really late for a T2P gen on a map with, I mean, how many mechs does he have, like 50? 44 T1 mechs and, uh, yeah, near enough 50 mechs, doesn't have his island quite yet. And that's another drop to the, a very vulnerable position, not usually going to be defenses here in a 1v1 game. At this stage. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh, I'm so glad I saw that. That is actually... If you do this on purpose, build a... Uh, god, I'm just going to spread the knowledge of an exploit right now. You build a... If you land on a building factory, then you... Well, anything that's dropped on them, as you can see, gets killed. And if you do this on purpose, it's actually an exploit, and you're not you're not allowed to do that for obvious reasons. It's very, very potentially extremely powerful. Like I say, versus a com drop, you instantly deny any possibility of a com drop with a single T1 engineer, essentially. So it is a uh, it it is an exploit, but this was purely accidental and very unlucky for Nexus. This. These six mech these uh, mechs would have died potentially more along the way with a forced reaction from Ajax, forced APM, but he got very lucky. And where is he going now? He has T2. Ooh, you know what would be nice right now would be some TML. He surely has the power. He has T2P gen. Maybe T2, maybe TML would be nice. Or make the gun and come out of the water. I don't know why he's walking back here. But the front looks quite decent for him. He has Ilshevo out now, which are going to be great versus this T1 army. Such a good unit, and he's he's going heavy into Ilshevo actually. That's where he's going to put his mass. And if we look at the mass income, actually Nexus is ahead now. The Eco Horde Supreme 
is just spam those T2 mexes. Has a lot of power overflow now, so he can make upgrades. And he can make a lot of air. Right now he's focused on, well, he dropped his island. And he's looking to make another T1 drop somewhere. And now we see some scouting action from him. He can't really see how much eco Ajax has. But I don't think he's too worried. And that's a lot of inties from Ajax. Certainly, well, decent amount from Nexus. But it definitely seems like there's more for Ajax here. Inties are not so good on Sentence, however. You can see how difficult it's going to be for all of these Inties. They're going to have to fly over here, catch this, and then once they fly back here, they've lost two minutes of fuel or a minute and a half. And they're going to be out of fuel very quick. So you probably don't want to send your entire Air Force after those T1 transports, but he caught it, and that's a, that's a good thing for him. A lot of Ilshevo at the front now, and there's no T2 whatsoever in this army for Nexus. Ajax needs to make hey while well, the sun, or whatever that phrase is, just fucking keep pushing and not stop. There's a lot of Ilshevo. We also need to see, in my opinion, exactly what Ajax is going for. T2 transport, stick eight of the best T2 tanks on there and drop them and watch, watch the economy die in seconds. For bonus points... Drop two flak and six Ilshevo, and then just let Nexus fucking weep as he can do nothing with his T2 air versus them. I suppose he could uh, use Corsairs to snipe the flak, but you know, that can go wrong too. If the flak is on the move, it's not a guaranteed kill, and if if uh, Ajax is watching and dodges with the flak, then it's definitely. No guarantee. T2 land only now finished for Nexus. Ajax made that T2 in his commander and it's done nothing for him. So, I mean, at least he didn't need the <laughs> didn't need the uh, ACU in the end to take back this position and get a decent amount of reclaim from it. But at the same time, it's kind of a bit of a waste. And maybe... Yeah, I think it's difficult now to justify the TML because he doesn't really have much navy in the bottom ocean. Which is quite a nice place to drop. He could... I mean, look. There's so many targets here to TML. Could TML them from the other side, of course, as well. But... Uh, without say, without a nice amount of frigates... And... Then he's vulnerable to navy. And there's actually... T2 navy is being started in this ocean by Nexus. Where he has only one factory. In this ocean where he has multiple naval factories, he's not going T2. Which is a bit strange, I think. But certainly this production is not under any any serious threat. I suppose maybe there's more targets on on the rock side. We have a drop for Ilshevo. You can fit 8, but I guess... Probably doesn't even need 4 even to, to do damage here. And now we have... Corsairs coming in, Flax going after them. I think actually T1 Mobile is... When there's just a f two, or there's just a couple of Corsairs, I think probably... Well, having a mix of T1A mixed in there is definitely, definitely good. That's a dead... Oh, it's only a T1 transport with T1 units on it, looks like, not Ilshevo. Here come the Ilshevo here. It would have been really nice to drop one or two here and then move on and try drop more further in where there's real juicy mexes to kill. Right here, it's going to have four and it's going to take them a long time to get anywhere. And in that time, Corsairs or gunships are going to come over here and kill them. So would have been... And you can see he had the time. He just saw this transport get shot down by Inti. So he could have dropped one here even and that would have killed everything. And then dropped deeper in here. Imagine he drops three Ilshvo here. There's no way that all these mexes aren't going to die. On the front, he's sort of been stalled even though he has such a nice army of Ilshvo. He has been stalled these crazy amount of Medusa. You can see he've landed a lot of shots. There's all, all these Ilshvo have been hit and stunned by the number of Medusa here, so that's what stalled him at the front, and he's not making progress. If he had a nice commander at the front with nano and gun, 
then there would be no way some fucking Medusa could stop him, but it looks like he thinks he has a nice lead and doesn't want to jeopardize that by putting himself in the way of the snipe. But, ooh, he's... Now he's just about getting shot by Destros. I wonder if he will notice that. Actually, and... And Corsair's moving in. I wonder if he'll notice these shots. I think he will, for sure, actually. So he's just micro to kill this T2 mechs. So he should know that T2 Navy is done. So maybe we'll see one more T2 Max die. This one was only T1. These were T1. So not massive damage, but decent, certainly. It's definitely a worthwhile drop. Could have could have done even more, though, in my opinion. And certainly could drop more, actually. Well, here we go. Here come the drops. No flak in these drops, so I think that's a bit of a mistake from Ajax, unfortunately. Some flak here would make it a lot nicer. Versus the Corsairs. Yeah, this AC is just chilling in the water so far away. He really has confidence in uh, in his position to, to leave that ACU there out of the fight. No TMD from Nexus, it seems. And maybe he's... Yeah, you can see he's not wary. He's not wary of the ACU TML, which could be devastating. Not wary of it. God, there's, there's just just such a massive number of targets for, for an ACU TML right now that it's quite sad that Ajax is not considering it. On the top, Nexus has quite a decent number of frigs and he's sort of pushing. That's a, it's a similar number of frigs for both player, players here, but Ajax has far less production, almost none. Oh, he's added it off screen here. And there's a lot of T2 mexes, and I think quite a few of them are vulnerable. These ones in particular, very vulnerable. There's no PD or anything, or RTs out of these factories. Here is taking a fight, and he's going to win it. Needs to quickly grab this reclaim as well. On the front, still in the same position, not making ground. But his army is building slowly, and now Zui is being mixed in as well. That's going to help a lot. The difficulty is he has to continually micro, otherwise these Medusa can do massive damage. Oh, very good drop now, finally in the back of the base. These engineers trying to build PD are going to fail, and I'm going to see 62 Mexes go down for sure. Oh, counter drop from Nexus. And that's not going to be half as successful. Only T1 Mexus here. And PD has gone up. And maybe the Medusa can get out of range. And there, that PD is going to die. This Destro is not going to be able to help. Because it has a laser. And we have... Units going to be dropped. We have... Renegades. Swim versus Renegades. You need to... Uh, split up your units because they have AoE and he's using the T2 transports to stun the Ilshis. Ah, I like it. Very nice from Nexus. You can see this the uh, Cybern T2 transports stun units with their with their shot. So this or Ilshi can't do anything. And now well Nexus still lost six T2 Mexes there. On the front, oh, Ajax has been stalled so long now that there's three Destros w here and they're laying down fire on the Ilshavo army. There's still a, de a decent number of Medusa and Mantis, a few Rhino and some Cerberus turrets as well. This could be a very nasty mass donation. We have T3 land and a Treb. A Treb is going to do so much good work. Medusa, the... Zui is going to disappear in the blink of an eye. Manny, Manny, Ilshavo going to be shot by this. You just have to be careful you don't shoot your own units. I think actually with Trebs you kind of want to ground fire them to be honest because they, in fights like this because they are quite inaccurate and if say the Ilshavo are moving in slightly 
the trebuchet's predicting it's going to keep moving, but of course the Ilshiva's going to turn back around and c come in and out, so if the shot's fired when the Ilshi is moving in, it's going to fire directly on top of your army, and this is all T1, so it's going to disappear very quickly. Nexus going all out to try and kill this production, and really force Ajax onto the back foot, but Ajax may have enough production to deal with this, but we have Destros being produced now in the North Ocean, as well as the South. This, in the end, killed two T1 Mexes, but it did actually delay a lot of Destro production, forced three PDs, and it was only a T1 drop, so not too bad here. That's, a, that's some good air cover from Ajax, as three... Four T2 transports come in, they're not all fully laden. Hopefully he's going to drop these in different locations, not all in the same spot. Oh! Oh, look at the damage. Corsairs coming in already, gunships coming in. There is one flak. Corsairs have to be killed quickly. Three, four Destros now pushing up mid, all this reclaim left on Ajax doorstep, look at all of those Ilshi wrecks, all of these 220, 280 wrecks are Ajax's Ilshivo army and here's some of the rest of the army running into some PD but they're gonna, those PDs should die quite quickly but the Zooies are getting taken out I wonder if Nexus target firing those those uh, Zooies. Oh no, don't walk away from this before it's dead. Nice. A lot of damage coming up here, and the back you can see only now being rebuilt. But this this navy is a huge problem. This top ocean now still next is just fully committing. Every frigate is coming straight to this production, trying to whittle down Ajax as he struggles to carry on. He can't produce out of these factories with minus 150 mass. This is why he's losing the top ocean. He simply can't... Uh, those factories are not producing units. Or rather they are, but at about half the rate. And so Nexus, who is... Is he stalling? Well, he's not stalling, and he's just lost a lot of economy. All of his factories producing at the max rate, and so... He's winning. All these... All of this build power is going to die to frigates. Frigates have AoE. They're going to kill multiple of these guys at once. And all these NGs are doomed. This looks quite bad. The Destro, where is it? There's two Destros already here. They are going to. They can come to mid. They can kill these mexes. Kill all the beach mexes. And here, oh, we actually have five T2 subs as well from Nexus. They're, they are a great unit versus the Seraphim Destro, which has quite weak torpedo defense and yeah look see it's getting absolutely roasted now the two Destros may go down actually probably they ought to go down but the subs have to be torped really we need some T2 air we need torpedoes to come out and take these out because the Destros are not gonna have a good time against that the drops are so vicious but how vicious Will the T2 Navy be from Nexus? That is the question. Oh, we also have five trebuchets. And they're going to do so much work. Any any T2, T1 army that comes out here towards Nexus is going to get vaporized before it can do anything. Now, one thing he could do is spam Selene's towards the Trebs, and the Trebs will then fire at the Selene's and probably kill a lot of... Nexus is his own army if he's not careful and the top top navy is won top navy is won by Nexus all the production is dead T3 land complete for Ajax bottom navy oh no there goes one transport that flew directly over a cruiser there goes a second transport that flew over both these cruisers which are well positioned and there's still damage being done here. Look at this. 16 kills, 10 kills, and a flak behind him. And these two guys. 13 and 5 kills. This guy is full vet. But the Navy. If, if we know anything from...
from watching sentence. It's a navy is king. And look, their incomes are actually lower than they were. Uh, certainly five minutes ago, maybe. I mean, they actually have lower incomes now. Because of all the damage been done. Now the T2 Max is going down. These Salem's make landfall. We need T1 factories to make Zooey's to take these out if they stray too far onto land. Because they are so insanely slow. And we do have Torps now coming to the bottom ocean. Ajax absolutely has to win the bottom ocean. And that looks like a very distant prospect for him, honestly. A lot of production here. Not much production for him at all. Three Destros versus, well, there's already four cruisers, Cybern cruisers. There's Destros coming out. There's submarines. The T3 land in middle looks dangerous. Oh, he might be able to snag some treb kills though. That would be brutal. The Zooey's going to get so much vet from this. There got three trebs out of the five. Very sad for Nexus to lose those. They're so expensive, you can see. These guys got overkilled. They're about 800, I believe. It's mm, let's let's check and make sure. Yeah, 800 mass. Expensive things. Mass income. Ajax is ahead. Score. Nexus is ahead. Kill ratio. Ajax way ahead in kill ratio. But the, the loss of some of these units here is quite painful. You can see all, these is, is all all Zooey's, or not Zooey's, all Ilshavo here. And mostly Ilshavo in that one. Here's another one that's all Zooey's it seems. And Nexus is eventually going to suck up all that reclaim. Look at that guy, 3,250 health. 22 kills. This guy's a veteran of multiple campaigns against Nexus's Maxes. And the top navy continues to do damage. T2 Maxes are gone down, left, right, and center. Now we have the T T1 factories to try and keep the Salem's in the water so that they don't start walking towards this airbase or towards mid. That would be very scary. Nexus going for cruisers. He's going to control the entire ocean, prevent any drops, and maybe even screen so that he can get his own drops in if he wants, or even send strap bombers this way across here and retreat towards cruisers if under fire. So once he has cruisers all over here, he's going to be in such a good spot and he can start raining down fire on the mid position force shields from Ajax and he's also gonna be focused but most of his build power in the bottom ocean you can see there's another T2 factory these are all going to T2 as well probably just to make frigates not even to make T2 ships but generally you don't want oh that's a bad mass all generally you don't want <laughs> another T2 max don't want to just keep making frigates unassisted out of a single out of T1 factories because they're very slow at building them and so you have a lot of mass just basically sat inside a factory so it takes like a minute to build a frigate now with the T2 support factory it's gonna be a lot faster it can't, it's not showing me there let's see yeah you can see 13 seconds rather than a minute that means you have a lot less mass just stored in a factory, so it's more efficient. So he's going to be just spamming frigates probably out of those. Because Cyber frigates are the best, very good cost, very very cheap, great damage. And uh, good AA as well on top of that. Ajax still hasn't taken back these mexes, that's, that's kind of a bad waste. And what does he see here? Well, that does not look good for him. That does not look good. And he's not pushing the South Navy at all. Still a lot of reclaim here. Maybe he's kind of slow grabbing that, but he has now dropped engineers in the area. 
Now he does have the I does have the factional advantage here in this navy fight. The Seraphim Destro is, in my opinion, far superior in, uh, in just straight up Destro versus Destro. I almost always want a Seraphim Destro versus a uh, Cybern, really. Now, once you get to massive numbers, then it's not so good for uh, not so good for the Seraphim. Because they have shorter range, you can't mass them as well. But, you know, in fights like this, similar mass, the Seraphim has better HP and damage and can dodge a lot of shots. But right now, it's just f superior numbers. And Ajax's getting swamped here. Let's see, Destros are in disarray. And now we have a lot of Inti sent in and a lot of Torp Bomber sent in to try and turn this fight. But he's already lost a couple of Destros just right now, two or three, without any in return. And there's so many Destros all on full HP. Many Frigates as well. Another Destros going down for Ajax and the South Navy looks really bad. Middle is basically a standstill. There's no way that Ajax can push out here thanks to the North Ocean Navy, can always bring some T2 Navy here and, and win that fight. And so many Inties are gonna die here. Oh my goodness. Ouch. Flying over all this Cybernate. Very bad for your health. Oh, that's that's quite a few gunships. What, where are they? going to be heading. What is the plan for them? And is Ajax moving to T3 or he is? Oh no. Bad mistake from Ajax. He's building two T3 pigeons at the same time. That must be a misclick. And he's building them in mid. I think that's really really bad. Everything is in mid for Ajax right now. He has nothing at the back. He has economy, but he has no none of his build powers at the back. None, none of his HQs are at the back. And now he's he's lost this ocean. That's that's a recipe for disaster. Those T3 pigeons can be killed by T2 navy, or at some point maybe T3. And the top navy looks like it's about to get crushed, which will surely seal the game. As Ajax his fall has fell behind in income as well. Total mass about 60k less than Nexus by now. And yeah, it's a total crush on the top side. All production will be killed. And all Ajax can do is snipe. But there's little hope of that. Look, Nexus knows exactly that that is his only risk here is a snipe. The, in terms of how the game is going, it is over. And Ajax calls GG now that his production is demolished. So much T2 Navy here in the South Ocean. And even a strap bomber killing Nexus at the back of the base. Another win for Nexus, and that was a great win, honestly. He, Ajax, there was that one point where Ajax had great expansion compared to Nexus. He had 70 something income to maybe 40 or 50. He had a lot more power income as well at the time. And that was a big lead. And Nexus pulled it back extremely well. He took damage. I mean, Nexus did his own T1 drop here. He tried to do a drop here. <laughs> Which didn't quite work out. But Ajax put a huge amount of mass into drops. And he certainly did damage. But he never killed... He never killed power. He never... Well, he did... He did uh, lose some of those transports fully laden with T2 troops. And that just left Nexus mass reclaim. And yeah, even though he did damage, he did it at different times. So Nexus could rebuild and then react to T2 air and rebuild again. And ultimately it wasn't enough damage. And in middle, we had the big Ilshavo army and that just completely failed versus the Medusa 
which stalled him at this choke for a long time and then T2 Navy came in and just ended that fight leaving huge amounts of reclaim for Nexus and that really gave Nexus the impetus there. If if Nexus doesn't get all of this mass from that massive T2 army I think it's basically an even game or maybe slightly in Ajax's favor but yeah, I think Ilshavo were not the not the choice. Ilshavo without ACU support, he meant he just couldn't 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 make the breakthrough. And uh, Nexus held him off and closed it out with all that reclaim. Actually, let's look at the reclaim. How much more reclaim? Oh, yes, that's a lot more reclaim. You see, even though the drops do damage, or the ones that landed, he still he gets. He reclaims the T2 Mexes, rebuilds them, or reclaims all the Ilshavo wrecks, and then the margin is a lot smaller than it may look for for Ajax, as long as Nexus is rebuilding quickly and reclaiming quickly, which which he definitely was. So, yes, well played, well played, Nexus, and uh, also nice. Bomber from Ajax at the start. Very nice micro. Did very well with that. And that is it for this cast. That was the third game of the best 15. And I'll cast some more very shortly. I will actually cast them all as long as... Well, yeah, I probably, probably will. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you'll tune in for the next one. And I'll see you then. Let's check the score, in fact, as soon as we can. Oof. I think this would be about the time the T2 army died, perhaps. Mass. Mm. Some other wastage on energy. See you later, guys.